Hello everyone. It's me, Dr. Savita M. V. I'm discussing about engineer topics in engineering chemistry under uh, VTU 18 syllabus. I have already uploaded one uh, video discussed about discussing about electrochemistry that is the Nernst equation derivation. And uh, the videos we are uploading in the, our YouTube channel, uh, My Intuition. Many have subscribed it. Thank you for the subscription. Uh, as we have told, our second video is about the university uh, question papers, uh, questions uh, with solutions that had appeared in the uh, topics that we have covered in the previous uh, uh, video. Okay, so going with that, uh, the, that is the use of free energy in equilibrium, uh, chemical equilibrium, that is university question papers with the syllabus. Okay, so now uh, mainly uh, I am discussing about the problems. Uh, problems uh, with the E cell determination, that is ele uh, electrode potential of a cell and uh, electrode potential of a uh, electrode potential, single electrode potential. Okay, so in a previous class, we have derived the Nernst equation for a single electrode, and also we have um, discussed about the uh, cell potential also. Okay, then uh, we have uh, the first question for uh, the problems. Uh, that is, you can read the question, calculate the ele standard electrode potential of copper uh, if its electrode potential at 25 degree is 0.295 volt when copper concentration is 0 0.02 molar. Okay, so it is seen, uh, the question asks to calculate the uh, standard electrode potential that is E naught of copper. Okay, whereas E of copper is given. Okay, so given temperature is 25 degrees. 25 degrees means if you uh, convert into Kelvin scale, that is if you add 273, it is 298 Kelvin. That is nothing but the standard temperature. Uh, therefore, the temperature is standard temperature given in the problem. Okay, so uh, reduction potential of copper metal is given. E copper is given, that is 0.295. Okay, uh, then concentration of copper ions is also given. Copper 2 plus concentration is 0 0.02 molar. Okay. Now, uh, with this uh, temperature is given, E copper is given, concentration of copper is also given. Now, we need to find out the electrode potential of, a, of copper. That is the Nernst equation. The equation that we will be using is E is equal to E naught of copper plus point, uh, 2.303 I mean, uh, 2 RT by NF log of metal ion concentration. And the metal we are considering here is copper ions. Okay, therefore... Uh, first, we shall see uh, the reaction. Copper 2 plus plus 2 electron giving copper. The number of electrons taking part is uh, 2. Otherwise also, Cu 2 plus. 2 plus is given. That means N is equal to 2. 2 plus means 2 electrons are removed. That means uh, N is equal to 2. Okay. So, temperature is 298 given. Then uh, uh, the, rea the uh, equation reduces to E is equal to E naught plus 0 0.0591 divided by 2 log of copper 2 plus concentration. Okay, 0 0.0529 uh, 0 because uh, uh, T is equal to 298 Kelvin. Then we need to find out E naught. E is already given. Okay, E is already given that is 0 0.295. So uh, concentration of copper is also given. So substituting of all, we have a point uh, 0.295 is equal to E0 plus 0 0.0591 divided by 2 log of 0.02. Okay. Now only the, uh, I mean, sub answer uh, is given. Calculation is what you have to do. Please see what is the value of E0. Okay. E0 what you get. Next, the answer for the first problem, please give, an, give in the uh, comment, comment box. Okay, so the second problem I am discussing is uh, calculate the potential of uh, the cell. The cell representation is given that is iron uh, bar Fe2 plus. Um, the concentration of Fe2 plus is given. There is a salt bridge wherein Ag plus that is uh, silver uh, uh, concentration is given 0.2 uh, normal uh, bar Ag at 298 Kelvin. Uh, then if the uh, standard reduction potential of iron and silver are, it is given minus 0 0.42 uh, for iron and uh, plus 0.8 for uh, silver, respectively, you need to calculate the potential of the cell, that is E cell. Okay? 
temperature is given to 98 kelvin then e not of iron is also given that is minus 0.42 e not of uh, silver is given uh, 0.8 volt now uh, we need to find out what is the which is the anode and the cathode you, if you see the reduction potential given minus 0.42 and 0.8 out of these two values, the higher one is 0 0.8. Okay, so the always the higher uh, reduction potential uh, metal will be the cathode. Uh, in this, 0 0.8 is higher, therefore, uh, silver is cathode and uh, point uh, that is iron is anode. Otherwise, also the cell representation is given. In the cell representation, always the first part is anode and the second part is cathode. In the above cell representation, iron is in the first part, therefore iron is the anode and it is clear that iron is anode and silver is cathode. Otherwise, if it, cell representation is not given, then we need to identify the anode and the cathode by referring to the reduction potential, that is standard reduction potential. Okay, the higher reduction potential will be the cathode, the lower one will be the anode. Okay, and in the problem, ferrous concentration is also given, 0 0.04 molar is given concentration of I, uh, sil, uh, silver is also given that is 0.2 molar okay now with these uh, let us write the cell reactions and uh, net cell reaction okay ion reaction is fe2 plus uh, fe giving fe2 plus plus two electrons uh, as i it said in the previous video uh, seeing the uh, cell representation also you can write the cell reaction if you see the cell representation see fe bar fe2 plus that means fe is getting converted into fe2 plus so expanding that we have Fe is getting converted into Fe2 plus that means two electrons is removed plus two electrons. Similarly at the cathode, see the cell representation it is Ag plus getting converted into Ag. That means Ag plus will accept one electron and get converted into Ag. Okay. Now when we write the cell representation, we can see that two electrons are released at the anode and only one is accepted at the cathode. We need to uh, accept, we need to cancel or use, utilize both the electrons. Therefore, the cathode reaction has to be multiplied by two, uh, two. That means two times it has to occur if two electrons has to be accepted. Therefore, multiplying by two, we have two Ag plus plus two electrons giving two Ag plus. Okay? So the next cell reaction will be two electrons getting cancelled. So the next cell reaction will be Fe plus 2Ag plus giving Fe2 plus plus 2Ag. Okay, considering this net cell reaction, we will write the Nernst equation. Okay, so the uh, considering this net cell reaction, again it is a display. Uh, let us write the uh, Nernst equation for that and calculate the E cell. Okay, now how many electrons are taking part? N will be 2 because 2 electrons we have cancelled. Okay, and now uh, the Nernst equation is E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT by NF log of product by reactant. If you see this cell reaction, the product is Fe2 plus and the reactant is Ag plus. Okay, uh, this uh, Ag and Fe is in the zero oxidation state. Its concentration is always one. So we are not, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not considering it because it is uh, one. Okay, so the product is Fe2 plus divide, see product Fe2 plus divide by reactant. Reactant is Ag plus raised to the power 2 because 2 moles are involved. Okay, so raised to the power 2. Uh, iron concentration, silver concentration is given in the problem. Substituting that we have uh, that is 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.2 whole square. Okay, because raised to the power 2. So, uh, substituting that, we have uh, E naught cell, E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303. This is an Ernst equation for a cell. Uh, now, E naught cell will be E naught cathode minus E naught anode. We know that cathode is a silver. So, for its uh, cathode is silver because it is having higher reduction potential. So, substituting cathode 0.8 minus of anode, that is anode concent anode reduction potential standard reduction potential is minus 0 0.42 okay so we have e naught cell as point a uh, 1.22 volt okay so then also we have we know that we uh, ion concent that is product by reactant we have 
uh, zero oxidation state copper and zero oxidation state silver is always one concentration is one because they are solid they are not uh, solutions therefore product by reactant copper 2 plus will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25 whole square because it is 2 ag plus 2 moles of ag is involved okay so the uh, number of electrons taking part is n okay so we know the uh, k that is uh, it is 8 and n is equal to 2 e cell is equal to 0.46 we have already calculated e naught cell it is 0 0.46 uh, 0 0.46 minus 0 0.0591 divided by n log of 8 okay so just uh, find out the answer okay next is the fourth question next question okay uh, then uh, we have uh, the silver electrode and copper electrode uh, it is uh, given you uh, i mean like the previous uh, problem itself silver and copper are the electrodes and the concentration are different okay uh, silver concentration is 4.2 into 10 raised to 6 molar and the uh, copper concentration is 1.3 into 10 raised to 3 molar okay e naught of uh, silver and copper is also given uh, now we need to find out the uh, cell potential and at the same time we also need to find out uh, the delta g uh, for the reduction of one mole of silver okay f value is given 9.96.5 kilojoules per mole okay so the nernst equation for any cell reaction is e cell is equal to e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 divided by n log of k see in this problem temperature is not given when the temperature is not given you can directly consider as standard temperature and we can take this reduced equation 0 0.0591 okay if the temperature is given which is other than the standard temperature then we have to take uh, 2.303 rt by nf okay so in the problem is it is given as 298 kelvin itself that means it is standard temperature so directly uh, i have taken 0 0.0591 okay so the um, nernst equation for a cell reaction any cell reaction is e cell is equal to e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 divided by n log of k and uh, e naught cell means e naught cathode minus e naught anode cathode e which is a cathode here how to identify which is anode and the cathode we need to find out which is anode by uh, finding out uh, which of the reduction potential given is higher the higher reduction potential metal will be the uh, cathode okay so silver is given copper is given and uh, we can see 0.8 is higher and that is corresponding to copper i mean the silver okay so silver will be the cathode and obviously the other one copper is anode okay substituting the reduction potential that is standard reduction potential we have the e naught cell is 0.46 that we have also calculated in the previous problem okay then n is equal to 2 as we have already done in a previous problem when we write the cell reaction uh, the silver reaction has to be multiplied by 2 therefore uh, to uh, get uh, the electrons cancelled therefore n is equal to 2 okay and then concentration of product by reactant that is k this one k concentration of product by reactant uh, that will be product will be uh, the copper ions that is 4.2 into 10 raised to uh, 6 okay uh, 4.2 into 10 raised to 6 divided by uh, silver i mean uh, copper is 1.3 uh, sorry 1.3 into 10 raised to 3 divided by silver okay 4.2 into 10 raised to 6 whole uh, raised to the power 2 because it will be 2 ag plus so when we simplify this we will get the answer as 7.369 into 10 raised to 7 okay so we know the value of e naught cell we know n is equal n value and we also know k substituting all that we get e cell is equal to uh, 0.46 minus 0 0.0591 divided by n log of uh, 7.369 into 10 raised to 7 and the answer is 0.2275 the e cell that is the potential of the cell which cell silver and copper cell given cell will be 0.2275 volt okay this is the first part of the question the second part is we need to find out the delta g for the reduction of one mole of silver okay uh, 
uh, we already know Esn. Uh, to find out the delta G, we have the formula minus NEF. Uh, in the problem, N is equal to 2. Okay, but in the question, they have to uh, they have asked to find out the reduction potential for one molar, one mole. Okay, that means for one n is equal to one. Therefore, n is equal will become one. F is given, so we will uh, substituting that. We have the answer uh, minus twenty one point nine five kilojoules per mole, or it can also be twenty one minus twenty one thousand nine fifty kilo. I mean minus 21,950 joules per mole, okay? Or if you can tell, minus 21.5, kilojoules, okay? And the next problem, all these questions have appeared in the uh, previous um, university question papers that those questions only we have, uh, I have uh, selected. Now, uh, this question, E0 values of lithium, uh, zinc, copper, and the silver are given, E0 values, standard reduction potentials are given, okay? The question says, which combination of the electrodes do you use to construct a cell of highest EMF if the ionic concentration are 0 0.1, 1, 10, and 0 0.01 molar in the same order? That means uh, four metals and their electrolytes uh, concentration are given, okay? Now, choice is for you. I mean, you have to construct a cell uh, with the given metals so that the cell should give the maximum EMF. Okay. Now, the choices are uh, you can take lithium and zinc as the two electrodes, lithium and copper as electrodes, or lithium in combination with the silver, or zinc with the copper or zinc with the, uh, silver or copper with the silver. All these are the possible combinations. There are six possible combinations. You need to find out which combination, that means which uh, combination of metals, one as anode and another as uh, cathode, we will get maximum E cell. Okay. Now, we have uh, the electrode, uh, see, we know the uh, Nernst equation for a single electrode uh, potential to find out the single electrode potential that is um, let us now find out the single electrode potential of each of the metal that means lithium zinc copper and um, uh, silver and then we will make different combinations to find out which combination will give the maximum e cell okay first let us take for lithium for lithium see in the problem it is itself given lithium bar lithium plus that means n is equal to one okay so the Nernst equation for a single electrode is E0 lithium plus 0 0.0591 divided by N log of 0.1. The concentration of lithium is also given as 0.1. So when you uh, substitute, you, I mean, all is given, you substitute, you will get the answer as lithium is equal to minus 3.0591 volt. This is a single electrode potential. That means single electrode potential of lithium it can be minus uh, three point, minus can be possible, but E cell cannot be minus, negative, okay? Next is, for the next metal we will do, that is for zinc, uh, zinc bar, zinc two plus, therefore N is equal to two. So you have the Nernst equation for a single electrode, E naught cell plus 0 0.0591 by N, uh, log of 1 because it is given as 1 molar, zinc concentration is given as 1 molar. If you substitute, you will get the uh, single electrode potential of zinc. Okay. Similarly, if you find out the uh, single electrode potential of copper, N is equal to 2 because copper 2 plus is given. Now, you substitute for the Nernst equation with the given uh, details, you will get the uh, single electrode potential of copper. Okay. Similarly, for uh, silver also, it is given as Ag bar Ag plus. Ag plus means N is equal to 1. You have you have the Nernst equation for a single electrode. Substitute that, you will get the answer. Now, uh, see the single electrode potential of different metals I have displayed here. Okay. Now, what we have to do is, we have to make different combinations. That means lithium, already possible combinations are given. And to find out the uh, E cell, we have 
the cell uh, so the formula e cell is equal to e cathode minus e anode okay now we need to go on substituting the cathode and anode for the first combination we have lithium and zinc okay you know the electrode potential lithium is a standard reduction potential it is already given 0.3 minus 3 and uh, lithium and zinc uh, lithium is minus 0.3 uh, minus 3 and zinc is minus 0.7 so out of this which one is higher the higher one is zinc therefore zinc will be cathode okay therefore substituting that we have zinc see higher uh, this thing um, we have we have already found out the electrode potential so electrode potential of cathode is out of these two cathode will be zinc for the cathode we have already that is for the zinc electrode uh, potential we have already found out that is minus 0.77 and for the anode also we have found out that is minus 3.0591 so it will be point, minus 0.77 minus of minus uh, 3.0 so the answer will be 2.2891 see this is the cell potential cell potential is ill is always uh, positive okay similarly let us go for the Uh, second uh, uh, combination that is lithium and copper out of lithium and copper copper is the cathode because the reduction standard reduction potential of copper is 0.33 and lithium is minus 3 therefore copper is cathode lithium is anode and we have also found out the reduction potential of uh, lithium and copper separately so cathode will be copper so reduction potential of copper is 0.3595 and uh, anode is lithium that also we have found out we got the uh, e cell similarly for the third combination uh, the third combination is lithium and silver uh, seeing the electrode potential that is standard reduction potential we know that silver is cathode and lithium is anode and uh, see we also know the electrode potential the to find out anode and cathode uh, we need to refer the standard reduction potential now what values are given here is electrode potential electrode potential means um, i mean uh, the difference between standard uh, reduction potential and uh, electrode potential is uh, the electrode poten uh, standard reduction potential is found out at standard conditions whereas the electrode potential is uh, found out in other conditions other than standard conditions okay standard conditions means standard temperature and unit concentration okay other than standard temperature and other than unit concentration uh, what we find out that is called uh, reduction potential and that we can find out using the uh, what uh, nernst equation that we have already discussed okay so for the third combination we have Uh, one is silver another one is uh, lithium again we have the cell potential similarly the fourth combination that is zinc and copper out of zinc and copper copper is a cathode so uh, electrode potential of copper is uh, 0.3595 and uh, electrode potential of uh, zinc is uh, it is also given uh, we have already find, found out that we got it and we got the e cell okay so similarly for the fourth combination silver and zinc out of silver and zinc silver has a higher reduction potential therefore silver will be the cathode and zinc is the anode and we already found out the reduction potential of silver that is 0.6818 and similarly zinc minus 0.77 we get 1.45 volt okay so the last combination is silver and copper silver is anode copper is cathode i mean silver is cathode copper is anode we have 0.6818 minus of minus of 0.3595 that is copper we got the e cell okay now uh, all the e cell we have found out see all the e cell is displayed you can see the combination with the c combination c combination is lithium as anode and the silver as cathode is having the maximum e cell okay that means the cell constructed 
taking lithium and silver as electrodes lithium as anode and silver as cathode will give the maximum e cell okay so that is the e cell okay so uh, now uh, what we have to um, come, i mean uh, take in uh, remember while solving the problems is electrode uh, potential is at any other temperature standard reduction potential is at standard conditions similarly uh, electrode uh, standard reduction potential uh, referring to standard reduction potential uh, we need to identify the anode and the cathode always the metal with the higher reduction potential will be the cathode and with the lower reduction potential will be the anode okay then if it is for a single electrode we need to uh, substitute for uh, substitute for the nernst equation of a single electrode or if it is a cell we need to identify the anode and the cathode write the anode reaction write the cathode reaction write the next cell reaction balance the number of electrons and find out the cancel out the electrons then for the next cell reaction you need to substitute for nernst equation for a cell okay uh, thank you Uh, only the problems uh, i have discussed in this and uh, uh, the uh, from the topic uh, what we have uh, uh, discussed in my previous video uh, the derivation of nernst equation is one of the uh, question that has appeared repeatedly in all the questions okay so problems i have discussed so my next topic uh, will be in the now on uh, the nernst equation for derivation for a concentration cell and also solving the problems uh, related to nernst equation for uh, i mean using the nernst equation for a concentration cell and the last class again uh, consolidated all problems again we will be discussing thank you